Hey everybody, welcome back to another Chrono Cross video. Last time we finally got into the Dead Sea, uh, we got uh, the sword, and we defeated the Highwayman boss. So that's already taken care of. Now we basically just have to keep going and seeing what's good. So let's go. And I don't know what that little thing is. I tried like pressing X on it and it doesn't do anything. And those yellow things I could fight, uh, but they're weak and I'm lazy. So I'm not going to bother. If I'm not strong enough for this next boss, I'll come back. I will fight this though because I'm curious what, what that is. If I'm not strong enough for the next battle, what I'll do is I'll go fight a bunch of stuff and then come back. But on camera, I'm just going to skip them if I don't have to. What is this thing? Is it like a little bird chicken? It takes normal damage. Let's go to Harl. Alright. Nice. Oh, hit that. Three. I just go to Norris. Actually, let's go back to Lynx. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, I believe in the three. Nice. Alright, Ice Blast should do at least 200. 150 to 200. 160. Okay, so above 150. That's good. Oop, and my controller's not connected. So I should probably get it connected right before this cutscene ends. Have I done it? I have done it. Look at that. I am a genius. Alright, let's continue. And I'm not going to fight that second chicken. Okay, where... Let me... Okay. What is that other thing? Okay, I found an anti-yellow. What is this? City ruins. Okay. I guess let's check this out. You know what? Uh, I don't want to fight you, chicken. Before we go into the big main building, I guess... We should see what's good. Can I... Do anything? Apparently not. I don't want to hit the chickens, man. I don't want to fight those things. Is this a thing? Okay. Can I do something? Oh, I can do something. Look at that. Ooh, this is great. I love this part of the game. Here, it basically gives you some context and some history. If you've ever played Chrono Trigger, you might remember some of this. So many strange things are happening here. The power source is still active. I do not... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so he does some boopity boppities and gets it to work. Oop, one more button. Oh, okay, a couple more buttons. So he does not have knowledge of electrical stuff, but... He... Uh, but he makes it work anyway. The monitor should be able to display some information, sir. Guess who? That is your boy, Lavos. Lavos. I don't care. Uh, blah blah blah. 2300 AD. Unknown life force, a parasitic to the planet. Code Lavos. Yes. If you've played Chrono Trigger, you'll know exactly who Lavos. Lavos. I, I'm, I don't care anymore. You mean the ruin from the future, Norris. Can you download more information about this world? Yes, one moment. So, yeah. I've played Chrono Trigger, obviously. Uh, beneath, slumbering deep beneath the crust, when Lavos awakens, this planet will not be very good. What happened, Norris? What happened to the screen? The power supply has gone out. At this rate, we'll not be able to gather any information. Dang, we were so close to learning more about Lavos. You will not be able to find anything new. Let's proceed. So, yeah. Um... I'm not going to go into the story because it is a couple hundred pages on the Wikipedia and it probably will take a couple hours for me to explain. And I don't know it myself because, or very like super perfectly well because this game is crazy about its storylines. You have to remember this game has multiple worlds with multiple dimensions with different, no, with different people and worlds and people and worlds and people and worlds. It's a crazy mess and jumble of letters and numbers. I want to get through the door, so I think I'm, I will have to kill this thing. Oh, what a good hit. Oh, okay. Link's killed it by himself. So I'm not going to go what into Lavos is, but if you're curious, probably no one's curious because no one watches my videos. Um, 
but you can go uh, on the wiki page and Google it. Uh, there's this one great video, like the... Hello? Oh, I found Kung Fu Shoes. There's a great video by, I forgot his name, that like, the complete history of Chrono Cross. It's a great video, explains everything you need to know. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna run. Um, is that it? Okay. No, it's not it. But it's a very long, complicated story. Oh, we made it over here. Oh! Oh, we... What? Could we have not? Oh, we couldn't have made it over there. Oh, so I guess it was a good thing I took the highway. I didn't, I'm stupid. I didn't even realize that. I thought we could make it into that big place without the, okay. That makes, that makes sense. Uh, school. You know what? Let's fight one of them just because I, I want to fight one of every enemy, you know. Bum, bum, bum. So, yes, I will fight this for completion's sake. Uh, let's use links. What are these? Are these green? Easy. Let's use one and a two and a three. Bum, 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 nah, nah, nah. These things are pretty strong, actually. Oh. That's gross, my dude. Let's go ahead and use feral cats. It's not black, so it should do normal amount of damage. It should do normal amount of damage. But this thing took almost a full stamina bar of hits from Lynx. So the thing is clearly not weak. Boop, right in the face. It's clearly not weak. But what it is, is very slow animating creatures. Okay, hopefully Harl can, yes. Hopefully Harl can kill one of them. And then let's hope Norris can kill another. Dare I say. Okay, good. And then Harl can come in here. And Ice Blast the crap out of this. I don't feel like letting it animate again if I attack, so I'm just gonna kill it right away. Easy. No problems. This is how we play the game. We instantly kill everything in our path so we don't let it animate. Because I am doing a semi speed run at this point. I'm dodging everything to get this game done. Alright, coolio. Uh, before we go in there, it's probably a smart idea to save. Remember, kids, save your games. I mean, okay, never mind, forget that. Uh, games nowadays, they automatically save. In this game, you need to save, obviously. Like the good old days. So, Tower of Geddon. Let's do this. This must be the center of the Dead Sea. All this chaos must have spread out from here. The buildings seem to have melted into one giant conglomeration. That's 2,400. What's up with the place? So that is in the future, yes. If we do some simple addition, we can tell that the thing is in the future. Yes, and by uh, the uh, the creepy robot mannequins walking around and the broken down technology, you could definitely tell this is from the future. Um, is this a thing? Nope, not a thing. This is a thing if we go up here. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this part of the game. Partly because of the creepy mannequins, but also because there's so many ways to go. There's so many things to look at. So I guess we'll look at it one by one. Let's go over here. Bum, bum, ba, na, na. This is a broken train, right? But there is a chest then. For some reason, on top of the train, my nose itches, and there's a broken chest. Or not a broken chest, broken train. Oh, can't think right when my nose is itching. Um, can I go? What? That's sick. I can go on top of the train. Can I go through these? Oh, uh, we need a station pass. Whew. Okay. We need to obtain a station pass from 
somewhere. So, let us continue on our endeavor for the station pass. Go away, spooky mannequins. Now, this is probably a terrible idea. I should probably be fighting them. Because I'm probably a little underleveled. At least Norris is. Whoop, almost hit him. You've been juked. Alright, let's see what's up here. Can't go into those buildings. I can go into that big hole in the wall, though. What is up here? Okay, I don't know what's up there. Let's go in the big hole in the wall. That seems promising, right? Man, I don't want to doze it just so much. <laughs> Come on, nose. Work with me, dog. Alright, there's nothing here. There's a little ghost girl, though. The other place I hate about this place is uh, there's ghosts everywhere, man. What is wrong, Serge? You sent something. Yes. Many ghosts. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, they look behind me. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. You know what I'm actually going to do on camera? I'm going to go turn on my light. Because lights are great. There we go. You probably see the close-up of my face right there, but... Are you alright? Nope. Lynx is not alright. What? You saw a child. I didn't see a child anywhere. Nothing will surprise me. Let's just keep going. I'm pretty sure these things are also enemies. And don't don't let me fool you guys. I will fight one of those mannequins. Obviously, because I want to fight one of every creature. But it looks like we're going to have to defeat this thing to get past that anyway. So you know what? Let's make it easy on us. Let's defeat this thing. And I will move my camera a bit. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, there's a lot of them. Entry number one. I'm in a little tall... This is the black hole. Oh, God. Entry number two. I'm Libra. My specialty is recover all. Nice to meet you. Ah, oh, everyone's gonna... Agent and a vegetarian. My favorite pastime is volcanoes. Fourteen. And I'll... Oh. I like to suck. Pause. Blood. Bro, why... Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, 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 thank you. That'll hurt quite a bit. No, it won't. Suck blood. Man, these things are just... Oof. These things are just taking everything, huh? Uh, which one was Recover All? The Recover All was this one. Just go ahead and, uh... Please hit. Deal with this black hole. Ugh. That's not good. That's a cool animation, though. It's definitely a cool animation. Oh, that did. A bit of damage. Bum, bum, bum. Recover All. Don't want to be dying out here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of recovering. What is this thing? Is that, is, are these dark? Oh, they're red. Then I can hit them with my ult. With my all. Good stuff. Let's hit them with moonbeams. That hits them all too, so that's good. And then Lynx also has straight cats. So we, sh we should be able to hit them all with. Bam. Oh. Good hits. Well, might as well hit some with Norris, too. Ah, bro, why you gotta miss everything? It's like the failure of the family. Come on, man. You know what? Go for that one. Go for that two. Oh, she's dead. Okay, let's go to Harl. Hit a few with her. Bam. Go back to Lynx. Try to hit two. Good. Oh, it's gonna use feral cats. How hard do you hit? Uh huh, you missed. Oh, okay. They don't hit hard at all. Let's go ahead and use feral cats. This should kill them all? Honestly? Hopefully? Please tell me. It should take most of them out, though. Like, a large portion of them. Yeah. Oh, one is still alive. You know, I'll hit you with that 72. You're dead, boy. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. 
I like it. Bum 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 bum. Got lots of aqua balls. I don't really need those. Thank you. Thank you for the aqua balls. But I definitely don't want to be fighting those things over and over again. Oh, I didn't even need to fight that one. I fought it for a feather. I didn't really need that feather. Okay, well, anyway, I'll probably be fighting all, all of these off camera anyway. Honestly. Uh, okay, let's go up here. My arm itches again. What is what is over here? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Is that anything? Nope. Bum, bum. Don't tell me I have to fight you. I'm gonna run past you. Ha <laughs> What's over here? And why does it look so green? That's a well. Oof. This is a sword. Link's received prop sword. Thanks for the prop sword, my dude. What's in here? Hello? The chest? Okay. Julio must be like a zoo attraction. Bro, ghost. You're gonna have to get out of my way, fam. Ooh, juked. Once again, I will be coming back probably to fight all these off camera. But not right now. Because I know, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but we're gonna have a boss coming up soon. And he is one of the harder ones in the game by far especially against this cast of members so i'll definitely have to uh make sure to defeat everything around me so i can get prepared for it there's the little girl again or little boy a young lad where are you going my dude bum, 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 bum. we're inside a building yet yeah, what's this thing doing here this place is beyond me truly this place is something of a wonder. Is this a thing I can walk upon? It is, except I don't think this is the thing where you were supposed to be walking upon. Maybe it is. I don't know if we were supposed to be walking on the wing or this. We were supposed to be walking on the wing. This is just uh, for a chest. Which, wait a minute, there's a second ladder. What is up here? Tell me now. What is over here? Hello? Hello? I'm just gonna press that. There's gotta be a chest right here somewhere. Hey, there it is. Mithril. That's good. I needed a mithril, actually, because I want to make uh, Norris his gun. Or... Is Silver... Uh, or one of... Another party member, a mithril... Attack item. Except, is this steel? <gasps> Don't tell me I forgot. Let's. Oh my god, I never even equipped his thing. I never even equipped it. I'm a genius. I completely forgot. Okay, well, we do have a mithril weapon on him. Now we do. Because I forgot to put it on him like a genius. Hello? Can I walk back up, please? Okay, this is literally the hardest part of the game, finding where to walk. Gee, I'm a genius. I can't believe I didn't equip him with a stupid mithril sword. Jeez, man. I mean, whatever. All the bosses so far have been easy. But I guess that just shows, even with using bad stuff, I'm still winning. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. There's... <gasps> These are the Acacia Dragoons that disappeared three years ago. What? What? Yeah, they were held captive and... Yeah, there's Marcy, Karsh, Zoa... Uh, some Dragoons and the thingy and Riddle and Glenn. Viper. We're all here. I talk to them? No? Oh, jeez, man. Why is Karsh up front? Hey, there's my boy Chrono. Are you alright? If y'all haven't seen or played Chrono Trigger, that little boy was Chrono. Or he was dressed like Chrono. 
Alright, let's go in the weird portal. Yeah, that little that little kid was Chrono, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, in the beginning of the game, I said that you didn't really need knowledge of Trigger to know about this game. A sunset. Uh, good thing there's a save point because there's a boss coming up. Uh, time and space could be different here. Luckily, distortion. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, big boss is right up ahead. We're definitely going to be saving up. Actually, before I save, uh, let's go to the smithy spirit. Let's go ahead and make that gun for Norris because we're definitely going to need it. Silver gun. Where's the, where's the gun? Argent gun. Yes, let us make the Argent gun. And then equip it on his body. Argent gun. Okay. And then... You know what we're probably going to need? We're probably going to need some magic defense. Especially for this fight. Uh, let's, let's get some magic defense. We're probably going to need it. Um, do we have another magic defense? Um, let's see. Increase the time. Whatever, whatever. Okay, I guess we'll just put the... Dragoon, no, uh, yeah, we'll hit the, we'll hit up the Dragoon's Gauntlet. All right, cool. Now let's do up a save, and let's go, let's go fight this thing, my dudes. Go fight this thing. Well, first, I might as well check these little rooms. Will you rest? No, nah, I don't, I don't need to rest. My HP is already full. Okay, so over there was probably a chest, which, whatever, at this point. Yep, that is little Chrono. And up there, there's Luca, I think. Yeah. One of them looked like Luke. Uh, was it Luca? Am I delusional? I think it was Luca. I'm hellbound. Bum, bum, ba, ba, na. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that is little... I, I, I think it's Luca, is that her name? But that's definitely Chrono, and that seems like the princess. But once again, probably delusional. Let's read the bell. Oh, we gotta read the tag. Hello? There we go. AD 1000, Nadia's bell, Mary prayers for peace, ring for an eternity. But Nadia's bell will never be heard again. Never. We know everybody worked to save the planet's future for nothing. It's all because of you. You killed it. You. So many lives are supposed to be saved. This planet was supposed to be healed with love, hope, and dreams. Huh? That's a fantasy. What do you got to say, little girl? How could you? How could you do such a thing? It's all your fault that the world is going to end up like this. It's all your fault, Serge. Okay, chill out. Mert, okay, chill, okay? Chill? I'm sure Serge didn't mean it. Who are these children? It's Serge's fault that the world will end up like this? Apparently, these children are really set on making me feel bad. Don't let it bother you. It's just a distant echo f from ones far gone. It's just an illusion. And there's... Bum, ba, da, ba. Say your name? Welcome to the Tower of Geddon. Time Crash Ground Zero. It's been a while, Serge, but I guess you don't remember who I am. I don't blame you. You were only a little child back then. Who was with... I'm Miguel, a friend of your father. Who was with Serge's father? Your boy, Miguel. According to the time outside, it's been about 14 years since the night of the storm. So, yep, that is the dude that was accompanying my father when uh, Serge was sick. Oh, you can see the scene right there. Thank you, game. Wazuki, what is this place? Thank you, game. Just helping me right out I don't know but I don't think we're supposed to know about it that's true very true that child that wounded child he's not just the child but he's also a wounded child bring him to me what was that who's there 
Wait, Wazuki, what are you, where are you going? There's no way we can set sail again in the storm. We don't have a second to waste, or else Surge will rest in pepperoni. I don't care what lies ahead of us. I'm going. There's no way I'll allow my son to die without a fight. I'd appreciate it if you waited for me here. Thank you for coming tonight, Miguel. Thank you. No, wait, Wazuki. Your boy is going to save Surge. What a good guy. And he lived. So, yes, I've been here in this place in this very place for 14 years. It wasn't like this when I got here though. An incident that occurred 10 years ago transformed the into the Dead Sea. Don't you know? There's nothing in the world as ruthless or impartial as death. All living matter ages over time and eventually dies no matter how mighty or tiny its life force. So being alive means you're creeping closer to death with every second. Sadly, don't remind me. But there's none of that here. No no one and nothing ages, nothing wastes away because time doesn't pass. This quiet, boundless, and beautiful world, an ideal world straight out of a fairy tale, isn't it? A place and time that belongs to no one. Rest knowledge. It's because this is a future that was eliminated. History is composed of choices and divergence. Each choice you make creates a new world and brings forth a new future, but at the same time, you're eliminating a different future with choices you didn't make. A future, a future denied of all existence because of a change in the past. A future that was destroyed even before it was born rests here. Condensed into the Dead Sea. How is that possible? Fate. Our lives are governed by fate. Fate knows all and controls all. No one can run from fate. And, uh... Fate's a robot. Even your presence here was predestined long, long ago. Okay, uh, Apple software updates, thank you. Long ago. And I'm not playing on a Mac. I have iTunes installed on my computer, long story. I play on a PC, don't get that wrong. Don't get it twisted. Wouldn't you all like to become one with this world? To be part of eternity? How about it, Serge? You no longer struggle alone, nor fear of an uncertain tomorrow. Well, what do you say? Refuse, bro. I gotta get back to the world, man. I see. I guess there's only one thing to do. I'll take it you're trying to restore the dimensional distortion. If you defeat me and liberate this place, the distortion will return to the way it was. I guess this is it. Just as there are times of place, there are times of war. You don't have to hold back. Attack me with all your soul if you want to live. Let fate take its course. Let's do this. Let's kick some butt, fam. So, uh, like I stated previously, I'm gonna, this is one of the harder bosses by far. You know what, real quick, guys. Yeah, um, you know, let me move my camera back. This is like, actually, I need to go the opposite. I'm going the wrong way, fam. Okay, there we go. Let us beat him, right? And I'm just like fixing something. Let's beat him. Um, I'm pretty sure he has some very unique magic strong attacks. I definitely need to be careful of anti-black that makes him not use any black elements that's completely fine nice hit good thing we have two black members since he's white okay strong-minded okay and then go back to Lynx because Lynx hits the hardest but we do want to attack with him the most Wow, you missed your third one. What are you doing? Weak-minded. No. That's fine. He's hardcore targeting Norris for no... No pair. Holy drag. Ooh. That's an insta-kill. Like, no hesitation. You're... If you get hit by that, you're dead. These feral cats. And... I'm definitely gonna need to revive him? 100% sure. Man, I told you, this guy has some really strong, um, who has revive? Oh god, Lynx has a revive. Alright, well I guess we're just going to be attacking him then. Yeah, how hard is he hit? Oof. It's a pretty hard hit, actually. Bro, what do you mean? Oh, uh... We only need to attack him once. Ah, oh, but I don't have, like, any energy. Turn black. Well, she's already black. Oh, Tom Beam. Okay, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Ooch. 
Uh, let's go to links. Hit once. Let's use revive. Yes, let us revive Norris, and then with Harl, we shall heal. Even though this guy basically one-shots anyway. Uh, heal all? Yes. Let us heal everybody. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm having doubts that I'm going to be able to defeat this guy. Like, honestly. Okay. Norris doesn't do too much damage. You know what? We're just going to defend with him. Anti-black. Though... Oh my god, okay. I think he's about to hit him hard with something. Okay, he didn't hit him hard with something. Hit. Good. You know what? I'm just gonna go to Harl. I wanna prepare her for her ultimate attack. Ah, oh, come on, bro. I'm gonna defend. Go with Lynx. Let's go into a go to attack. It hits. Ah, oh, strong minded. All he has to do is not hit Norris, I think, basically. Hit! Good. Let's go to Harl. Because I think Norris is the only one with a revive left. Okay, those are some good hits. Let's hit another two. No! I want to hit him with my special ability before he kills Norris. Don't kill Norris! Why? Why do you gotta kill Norris? I can't save him. Now right, let's use this. This should hurt him quite a bit. Hopefully we'll be able to take him down with Jet. Honestly, I'm gonna switch Norris out once I get a better character. So I honestly really don't care that he doesn't get the XP. This is a cool animation by the way. I'm just hoping I'm even able to kill him. Like he's not even low yet. Oh, he's low. Good. Oh, this is bad. Those hurt. That hurts a lot. This is one of the coolest animations in the game. But those hurt. Really badly. We're going to go ahead and uh, heal that up. And we're going to defend. Holy light. That's not good. Doesn't that just insta-kill everybody? Jesus. We're gonna have to heal. Hopefully. I really need Harl not to miss her shots. I need one more shot. Don't attack. Heal all. Yes. We're gonna have to keep these two alive. I mean, basically, Norris legitimately wasn't doing anything. The only thing that sucks is he was the one that had my revive. Okay, we're just gonna defend here. Anti-black, that's fine. As long as he doesn't do drag sword, then we're good. Okay, good hit, good hit. We could hit him with an ice blast. Ice blast is strong. If it does 200, it's definitely worth it. Boom. Yes, it, that does a good amount of damage. That's definitely worth it. Ah, oh, you missed, you bum. Don't hit. Good. Do I have an element? No. Might as well defend. Weak minded. Oh no. Don't kill Harl. No! This is gonna hurt a lot. That's that's literally insta death. There's literally nothing that I can do about that. Except I have to try to kill him right now before he kills me. Okay, that's a good attack. I have to kill him. Oh, he's dead. Seriously. With one turn, he kills Harl. I kill him. Okay, that's tilting. Whatever. It's okay. I'm going to be using Kid anyway. I don't need Harl. It's fine. As long as Surge gets the thing, that's what's important. Honestly. That was definitely a tough battle. Though. Well done. That's the way, Surge. Me, my, my. You have grown, me, you have grown strong. Maybe just maybe, you and your friends have the power to defeat fate and build a future. Defeat fate. Key. The the Dead Sea is the truth is the true form of this planet's future. That's right. At one stage our world was on the verge of such 
inevitable destruction that was in 1999 when this game was first released in japan and my birth year when the parasitic alien life form known as lavos awoke after centuries of feeding off this planet lavos fell from the heavens a countless number of years ago and burrowed deep beneath the surface to eat and sleep slowly but deliberately lavos devoured our planet from the inside out waiting for the timing to ripen for its true awakening Finally, Lavos did awake, and it manifested its true form on the surface of the planet. That's when our world faced a death from which there seemed no possibility of escape. Were it not for the teenage boy and his group of adventure friends, that is, Chrono, those young heroes caught a glimpse of this planet's future destruction that had appeared in the year 2300. They realized they could not turn their backs on our planet, even if its death would not be anywhere near their lifetime. Time traveling from epoch to epoch, they battled Lavos for the future of our planet and eventually won. But in saving our planet from the death Lavos was going to bring about, they also changed the course of history. At that very moment, this whole future time axis ceased to exist. Call it cause and effect, it is just a problem of possibilities after all. In this world, there are no such thing as absolutes or uncertainties. But the future that was supposed to have disappeared is about to be restored here. The future destruction of our planet is going to become a reality in this world once again. That means we need to run. The vengeance of the future we killed is about to begin, with Surge serving as the trigger. The Chrono Trigger. Perhaps or perhaps not. Either way, it's all part of the grand game of the gods and goddesses. People are dragged into playing this game, forced to put out their own lives on the line without even knowing the rules, without even being allowed to complain. They try to do their best under conditions put under them. The only alternative is to give up and leave the playing field in a forfeit. Ow. Three years ago, members of the Acacia Dragoons from Termina visited here. Those nights were after the Frozen Flame, of course, but instead they became salt for the Dead Sea. You see, only the Chosen One can approach the flame. It looks like fate has made its decision and has started to carry it out. Fate doesn't want the Frozen Flame to awaken in this place at this time. It would choose to destroy the flame along with the whole Dead Sea, then allow its enemies to take hold of the flame. This lost future is about to disappear into the darkness beyond the dimensions again. You have no time to spare. You must leave here immediately. Quickly. Go. Alright, fam. I'm out. Peace. See ya, Chrono. See ya, Luca. See you, Marl, I think. I love you so much. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty great. This is why I sometimes desire to... Sometimes why I desire, desire to smash you to bits. Don't worry about me. You must go now. Alright, dude. Peace out. Farewell, Surge. The future is yours for the taking. You, the one that the Frozen Flame has chosen. Yes, the Frozen Flame has chosen me. Or Surge, whatever. My dear Lena. Oh, I forgot. This dude is Lena's father. May you live in a happier tomorrow. We literally beat the crap out of Lena's father. Lena is basically our girlfriend in this game. We just beat the crap out of her dad. That, that's a pretty big feels bad man. Now, the only problem is this place is literally crashing on top of us. So we need to... We're not going to make it. No. Yo, what's good, white dragon? Grab hold, sons of man. <laughs> yes, thank you, dragon. I appreciate it, my dude. Oh, I gotta fix my headset. Oh, the greatest animation ever made. I think everyone saw that from like every island. Why did you help us? I too would like to witness this, how thou shalt live and how thou shalt die. 
If, if thou art planning to bring forth a new entity, prepare thyself for anguish and sorrow. All right, so the Sky Dragon helped us. Thanks, bruh. To the Sea of Eden, if thou intend to defy the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragon gods who sit in repose in El Nido. Let the path to the Sea of Eden be known when all powers of the sleeping dragons are brought together. My favorite part of the game! Uh, nah. Serge, are you concerned about the other world, or are you not? Truly. Their dimensional distortion should be back in order. Let's head to Opasa Beach. Dude, let's do it. Let us let's, let's do it. Bum, 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 bum. So the sea is fixed or something? Look at it. Can I enter? Real quickly. Let's enter. I want to see what's up. Oh, we can kind of just head in here. Now there's islands and stuff. Fate distortion. What is this? Is this another fate distortion? Okay. Uh, let's see what happens if we click on this. I'm pretty sure it'll basically just say, nah, fam, you can't enter yet. Could this be, uh, but the amulet isn't responding. Yeah, so we can't go in here yet. Uh, but once, I'm pretty sure it says something about, uh, now this is the time where we have to, like, gather all the dragons, like, defeat them all, low-key, low-key, and, um, get some stuff from them to let us go in the wormholes or something. My memory is fading on me. Let's for sure see what's going on. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Next episode, we will see what happens at Opasa Beach, guys. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. Is my camera still working? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. God bless and goodbye.